Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve one of the recently asked L2 interview scenario that is highlighting, you know, below and average for your bar. Say example, I want to create this. So on each bar, I have, we have average and I want to color that bar above in one color and below in one color. Okay, so very tricky one. So let's get started without wasting much time. But before we do that, let us thank our subscriber who has shared this question. So I encourage all of you who are attending interviews, please share your questions or scenarios so that it can help the other community who are preparing. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, create a view here. Okay, we'll take our category and we'll take a subcategory and we will take our sales, right? Now, generally when we want to do this, what do we do? We try to uh, ideally add a reference line so that we will know what is the average. And uh, by doing here, you can fill below and uh, this option definitely we can use, but I'm trying to solve it using a calculation here okay so if i say at value and entire table if i do so this is the value we got right now i want to highlight below one and above one in different color so what do we do if at all you know we are asked to solve this in interview maybe you know we will use some of sales right the common uh, thought that we all will get maybe greater than or less than equal to or window average sum of sales we will try to do because we all will get one idea that i can use this window average concept to get that now when i try to do that observe this might work but see what it is trying to do it is trying to highlight the entire bar right maybe this is below average perfect this is above average perfect but that is not what we are intended to do, right? We want to highlight below this, okay? So this will be your one use case where you want to highlight above and below average sales. I'm not telling this is incorrect, but this is representing a different set of question or a different answer, okay? But this is one approach that you can use based on the question that is being asked. Now, what do we need to find out? We need to find out average sales for each of this, right? So we are going to solve that using uh, maybe LOD. So first, what I'm trying to do is find out this average sale using our fixed LOD. LOD okay. And I'm writing it as, you know, average sales. Okay. For category. Then what I'll do, uh, maybe fixed. Okay. At category. And a subcategory. So first I'm trying to find out my sum of sales. And for this, I'm trying to find out average. Okay, so step one done. So this, this will be your first step. So what this will give, we will check. So I'm taking this and dropping it on this. What is it giving? It is giving it as average. If you observe, what is the average here? 13685. What is the average here? 13685. So we have computed or calculated an average value using LOD so that it doesn't get disturbed. Okay. Now what we are doing is we are trying to find out a calculation that will help us in finding out this. So this is what your tricky part is. So for that, what we are doing is We are going to write another calculation uh, and that is our uh... so using those that basic calculation I'm trying to find out below average sales for highlighting. Okay, and what I'm doing is if uh, my fixed calculation, right? So if uh, my fixed of category comma subcategory sum of sales. So we have this value, right? Is greater than our average calculation, right? Average sales. Then give me average else it would be our this one 
okay this is just a tricky part to get the value nothing else okay and ending it okay click on apply okay and use this on yourself and make it a dual access concept okay and make all of them as bars and uh, once you do that just to synchronize your access now see here above bars and below average sales are getting highlighted in different color so this is how you can solve it okay so one more again important point is this calculation that we need to understand so first we are taking our sales and fixing at this level category and subcategory level and we are trying to compare it against the average salary so when it is doing that we are trying to get the average category and then we are fixing it this part if you understand your logic is done okay just use it using dual access concept and that is where you are getting the value okay i hope this has given you some clarity on how to use the concept of window average and when to use that and also the dual access concept using which we can you know get this solution sorted so you can use any other solutions if at all you want and you can comment in the comment section so that the users will know so that's it from my side guys see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day